Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry it took so long to come out with this second part. And this isn't a video, it's it's a slideshow, more or less, just images that uh, you can set the GoPro up to take pictures every however long duration you want. So. So I got the machine set up, can't really see it, it's top left corner, sitting on that blue post looking thing. And I just set up a makeshift little table here. So first thing I'm doing is just some TIG welding, DC on some scrap steel, it's about 8th inch steel. And it welds nice. I'm happy with it thus far. I didn't do a whole lot of testing, but just laid some beads down. I wanted to test all the functions, just make sure it works. Make sure I don't have to send the thing back. And I don't. Everything checked out fine. The uh, foot pedal worked just fine. And I'll tell you what, going from a scratch start, or lift arc start to high frequency with a foot pedal it is awesome I can't wait uh, it's one of those things where if you learn scratch start it's everything's just gonna be ten times easier once you have a high frequency start So here um, I'm setting it on AC functions. I want to try out that aspect of it. And that was a complete failure. Not due to the machine lacking anything, but I have a 16th inch electrode. I think it's thoriated electrode in there. And I put it on AC and wasn't getting anything. So I cranked the AC up to all 200 amps or whatever that this thing's rated for and man I just pretty much vaporized my electrode so uh, didn't get any uh, good aluminum tests done with the machine I'm sure it'll be fine uh, but that was due to my limited supply of electrodes I, I've since ordered a bunch of much bigger electrodes 8th inch electrodes so and pure tungsten. Those were, uh, I think, uh, seriated or lanthanated or something that's not good for aluminum. So I got pure tungsten, eighth inch. I'll try it again on aluminum, see how we do. And I, I hadn't cleaned that aluminum either. So it wasn't a great test for aluminum. But here I'm arc welding, I think, with some 6011. And that works great as well no complaints there I don't do a whole lot of arc welding I'd like to start doing some more um, than I have been I've just always had a MIG welder so I that's what I did you know I've always had a good Miller MIG welder so that's always what I've run I haven't done a whole lot of arc welding since uh, you know for years I took some welding classes and that's all we did was arc welding but so here I've got the plasma cutter hooked up. I was cutting on that eighth inch piece and now I brought over a thicker, I think it's three eighths. It's either quarter or three eighths, a lot thicker. I just wanted to test out what this, uh, I say little, 50 amp plasma cutter can do. And uh, did just fine. Cut through it great. I was saying in the other video how small this torch is compared to my 80 amp, but and the consumables are way smaller, so we'll see how they last. I'm sure they're cheaper though, but yeah, it cut through everything, no problem. Sorry for that blurry image. Anyways, uh, hope you guys liked it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.